So I saw this and I had to make a video on this because you know, everybody is losing their shit over this. Microsoft just laid off 6,000 employees and apparently all of the tech workforce believes that AI is coming for their jobs. And seriously, really? And I mean, this is not even new at this point. Here's the thing, and this might sound crazy. I am here to tell you that all of this panic, it is complete BS. And I am gonna prove it to you in the next 10 minutes using actual concrete data, not just fear mongering headlines that are designed to get clicks. So stick around till the end of the video. You are gonna understand what is exactly happening in the tech industry, why these layoffs, and for that matter, any layoff in the recent past, is not caused by AI. And in fact, this is something that the CEO of Microsoft has come out and said after the layoffs. And most importantly, how you can position yourself to crush it while everybody else is panicking. Also, if you're new here, I'm Anudeep and I work as a software engineer by the day and I make videos on tech, entrepreneurship and self-improvement on this YouTube channel. So if any of those things sound interesting, please consider subscribing. Enough of the plug, let's get started. All right, so let's start with what everybody is talking about. Microsoft laid off 6,000 employees, right? And just after that, literally within few hours, every media outlet, every news channel, every social media platform was filled with these headlines such as AI is taking over, software engineers are doomed, and you know, all those things. But here's the thing that is driving me absolutely crazy. This is literally the exact same pattern we have been seeing over and over and over again in the tech industry. I've been talking to so many people in my company who are very experienced and by experience I mean 20 to 30 years of experience in the industry and they are telling me that they have already seen all of this happen at least four to five times in their career. Anyone remembers the dot-com crash in 2000? Approximately 100,000 workers or tech employees lost their job at that time. People were saying internet is bad, software engineering is dead, programming is over, but it survived. And then came the 2008 financial crisis. Even then, companies were struggling, but that was the birth of the big tech companies that we know right now. And around 2015s, every time a React or an Angular or some other framework comes in the market, there's always this wave of, oh, we don't need programmers anymore because, you know, we can just plug and play now. And you know what? It is never about the technology. These news outlets, these social media clowns, they are the ones making all the noise every time because they make money out of it. Think about it. When you click on something headlined, AI will replace software engineers in 2025. The news outlet that put that headline earns money out of it. It is literally that simple. Fear catches attention, attention drives clicks, and clicks generate money. And at the end of the day, money is king, so these guys will just do anything to get it. And if you remember, this is very similar to how people were reacting to vaccines back in the COVID times. Anything bad happened, it was the fault of vaccines, and it was not as if the vaccines were bad in themselves. Maybe they were, we don't know. But it was this whole propaganda by the news channels which, you know, accelerated this agenda. So when you see these headlines, just remember, they are not trying to inform you which they should, they are trying to scare you into clicking. Because fear sells and you are the product being sold here. And coming back to the real reason behind these layoffs, the same as always, restructuring, cost cutting, strategic moves, pivoting to some other domain, all this is just general boring business stuff that doesn't generate viral tweets. And hence, these news outlets just blow everything out of proportion. Even this Microsoft layoff is a part of restructuring itself not AI. As is every other layoff that we have seen in recent times, yes, AI is growing faster, but absolutely none of the layoffs that we have seen till now have been solely because of AI. Okay, so if AI is not destroying the tech industry, what is exactly happening? Let me break this down for you because this is where things get interesting. Everybody is so focused on AI is gonna replace me that they are missing the bigger picture. You know what AI actually is? Do you really know? It is basically a very sophisticated prediction machine. That's it. That is what these systems are. I can tell you with 100% certainty because I understand how these systems work. For God's sake, I have a master's in this field. Yet I see so many people blowing AI out of proportion. ChatGPT is just predicting the next word in the sentence based on all the examples that it has seen. True, AI has been trained on this massive amount of data, which includes actually a lot of code. So all it can do is just recombine stuff that is already written. 
it really cannot generate anything truly original. It definitely can't handle novel problems and it can definitely not think through complex systems and form architectures and stuff. If you're trying to be an engineer who just copies and pastes without understanding what's happening under the hood, sure, you will be replaced by AI. Like, you're already irrelevant, bro. But remember, that is not because of AI. That is because you never developed the real skills in the first place. But here's the crazy part. And literally nobody, I mean, I see some people, but most people are not talking about it. AI is actually making the tech industry go faster. AI tools, we have more sophisticated software, which creates more complex problems, which means companies need more skilled engineers to handle these complex problems. Think about it. When software gets more complex and sophisticated, we get new challenges. And those challenges need people who can think, who can code, who can solve problems, who can maintain systems and also, you know, find a balance between architecting and guiding these AI agents and knowing when to debug, knowing how to debug. All this set of skills is what makes up a software engineer. And the problem right now is this whole vibe coding is picking up. People are just prompting these LLM tools and generating half-baked solutions. And they have no knowledge of data structures, algorithms, design patterns, system design, debugging, any of those things they don't know. They'll spend two hours with ChatGPT and form something and say, hey, this is how things are gonna be from now on. But take my word for this, companies are not gonna pay you for that crap. Companies are gonna pay you for getting things done. And all that comes from hard knowledge, not soft skills, not by being able to, you know, write good prompts or whatever. So while everybody is panicking about AI, it is actually creating more opportunities for people who know what they're doing. Not copy-paste engineers, not prompt junkies, but real engineers who understand what is happening under the hood. Look, this transition period is happening, whether you like it or not, and I don't know when it's gonna end and when we will be on the other side of this, but this is just reality. Every few years, the tech world just shifts. We have talked about how things were different in 2000, then 2008, then 2016, and now in 2025. And the matter of the fact is, the people who are gonna be left behind are the people who do not adapt. Here is what I see happening right now. And this is what's gonna separate winners from losers. You see, most people are doing the wrong thing. They are either panicking and not doing anything, or they are just jumping on this vibe coding trend without even understanding the fundamentals. I see people who can't explain basic algorithms, basic data structures, who do not know how to debug, but they think they are engineers because now they can ask ChatGPT or you know Claude or whatever to code for them. And you know what? That is not gonna work. The bar has been raised, obviously. Looking back in the olden days, if you just knew one or a couple of programming languages maybe, if you knew some basic algorithms, had some database knowledge, you could get a job. In fact, even by 2022, people who were getting jobs were the ones who could just, you know, make some basic CRUD applications, solve some DSA questions and, you know, had a good portfolio to maintain. They could get jobs very easily. Unfortunately, that is not true right now. And that will never be. Because as I said, the bar has been raised. You need to know much more today. You will need to know much more tomorrow because tomorrow we are gonna face even more challenging problems. But all of this just means that the world is gonna be such a better place tomorrow than today. We just don't need copy pasting machines. That is exactly what ChatGPT is doing. And this is actually the perfect time to level up. If you are at this stage of the video, understand that nobody else is doing this right now and this is your time to just lock in. While everybody else is just panicking and worrying about AI taking over their jobs, you can be the person who can learn how to use AI to build while also building rock solid foundations. The future belongs to those who have real hard skills, solid fundamentals, and those who know how things are happening under the hood. And if you're feeling anxious because of all this noise, please don't. It is all media propaganda. Just keep learning, just keep growing. As I said, if you are leveling up, keeping up with the technology and are also building through these hard times, the future is yours. And when the transition phase is over and we are on the other side of it and times get better, and trust me, they will. The people who were grinding through all this time will shine through. So look, this is the bottom line. While everybody else is talking about Microsoft's layoffs and blaming AI, smart engineers are positioning themselves to absolutely crush it in the modern world, in the new world. The opportunities are there and there will be so much more, but only for people who are willing to put in the hard work. 
If this video shifts your perspective on what is happening in tech, smash that like button because it helps me reach more developers like you who need to hear this message. And definitely subscribe, as always it means a lot. Also feel free to drop a comment down below, I read every single comment and I'd love to hear your thoughts. You can also subscribe to my weekly newsletter that I send every Sunday going over what's up with my life and you know my favorite things that I consumed that week. Maybe it was a podcast, maybe I liked a blog post or you know maybe I liked a Twitter or maybe I finished a book that I was reading and you know I share the lessons that I gained from them. So for all of that, consider subscribing to my newsletter that will not be very thoroughly produced because it comes personally straight from me. So yeah, consider that as well. In the meantime, keep building, keep learning. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.